So we're going to do problem number 11 here. Uh, a uh, steel ball rolls down with constant velocity across the tabletop, uh, 0.95 meters high. It rolls off and hits the ground at 0.352 meters from the edge of the table. How fast uh, was the ball rolling? And the reason I'm going to make a, a video of this is because this problem will be on the test, or a problem very, very similar to it. Okay, so um, let's get it set up. Okay, so this is number practice problem 11 on page 158. So let's write down what's given. I've got a steel ball. It rolls with constant velocity across a tabletop that's 0.95 meters high. So here's my tabletop. Here's the table. Here's the floor. Here's a little marble. And it's rolling with constant velocity across that. So we'll call that Vx. We know that the table is given to have a height of 0.95 meters. So I'm going to call that delta y equals 0 0.950 meters. But notice that the ball falls down. So I'm going to say that the change in height of the ball is not 0.95 meters. It's negative. It's going to fall down. So you have to remember to make that negative. Then um, it rolls off and hits the ground 0.352 meters from the edge of the table. So once it leaves the table here, it goes like this and you know hits the ground right there. And this is delta x, right? This is how far the, the ball uh, rolled or uh, fell, and uh, 0.352 meters. OK, and this is what's given. And what we're trying to find is how fast was the ball rolling? So we're going to try to find vx. So this is a great way to start the problem is draw a picture of it and show what's given around your picture. So let's uh, solve. Now, the velocity in the x direction, there's only one equation that we use in the x direction for projectile motion, and that's this one. And this is really what we're trying to find, because the velocity in the x direction is a constant. So we know uh, what delta x is, but we don't know what time is. So we need to find the time in order to solve for v naught x. So I look in the y direction, and I notice, what do I know? I know delta y. I know what the acceleration in the y direction is, right? It's negative 9.8 meters per second squared. So I know the acceleration. I'm trying to find time. I'm going to use the third kinematic equation. <coughs> delta y equals v naught y times t plus 1 half a t squared. Now, I know what the initial velocity in the y direction is. The ball is moving horizontally. It has no initial velocity in the y direction. By the way, if the bell rings and you want to go, go ahead and leave. I'm going to finish doing this problem. Just try to be quiet. So now I can solve for time. Multiply both sides by 2. So I get 2 delta y is equal to a t squared. Whoops. Then uh, divide by a. And when I do, I get 2 delta y over a is equal to t squared. And then I just take the square root of both sides. And I get t is equal to the square root of 2 delta y over a. Well, I know what all this stuff is. So t is equal to the square root of 2 times negative 0 0.950 meters. This is how far the ball fell down. And this is the rate at which it accelerated, negative 
meters per second squared. And you get a value for T. And then you can substitute that in there. So what is this? Anybody have a calculator? My calculator's not out. Anybody do this problem already? Can you give me a time real quick? Point four four one. So t equals zero point four four one seconds. Is that what you got? Huh? Yeah. Okay. Um, so I can now I now know the time that it took the ball to fall from here down to here. So I can now substitute in here, and so I'm going to say v naught x is equal to delta x divided by t, really delta x over delta t, right? And uh, this is 0.352 meters over 0 0.441 seconds. And this will give me an answer, uh, which should be 0 0.8, 0 meters per second. OK, I think that's uh, correct. Okay, and that's your answer. So, what's the big picture here for a problem like this? Draw a picture of it and show what's given around your picture. And then, start with an equation that has what you want to find in it. And that will tell you what to do and you go through it and there you go.